Good afternoon, ladies. It's Janelle. Today is Thursday, September 18th, 2014. Today I had my um, endometrial biopsy, womb scraping, whatever you want to call it. There's a bunch of different words. Um, basically, it's it's basically just a biopsy, except for I'm not doing it for biopsy reasons. I'm doing it for IVF reasons. I don't know if I went through the process of this with you ladies um, when I told you that I was going to do it. Um, so I'm just going to do a video strictly about my womb scraping today. Um, basically what it is is they go in inside your cervix and inside your room and they um, scrape it. It's exactly what it sounds like. They they literally go in with this tool and they scrape the whole inside of your um, uterus. And the reason they do this is because um, it's kind of like, you know, when you're going to get your nails done and they buff the nail before they do, um, they put the nail polish on there or the acrylic or whatever. Um, and they do that because it adheres, the fingernail polish or the acrylic, it ad adheres better to the nail if it's buffed and scraped. Um, and that's exactly why they do this process. They go in and they scrape the inside of the womb. I keep saying womb because that's what I read on the internet. It's called womb scraping. Um, but they go inside the uterus and they scrape it to make it so that there is... Um, it's a, I guess that, so the embryo sticks better. Um, and there's some studies that um, say that it is 20% more effective if you do this on cycle day 21. So that's what I did today. I went into the doctor's office and they had me obviously dress, uh, undress from the waist down. They put a gown on me, and there was no ultrasound or anything like that. They just uh, they clean the cervix with iodine to make sure that you don't get an infection. Um, and the infection, uh, you getting an infection from this procedure is very rare, um, but they do that just to make sure. And then um, I looked away because I didn't, I was just looking at my mom. My mom was holding there with me, and she was holding my hand. And the next thing I know, there is this terrible, awful pain. And it feels like um, somebody has a knife on the inside of my uterus and they are literally just dragging it across my uterus walls. It is the worst feeling that I have ever felt in my life, um, hands down. It was, it's so much worse than anything I've ever felt. It was worse than the egg retrieval. It was worse than... Um, the SHG, um, where they open your cervix for the um, mock IVF, it was so painful. I screamed and I cried, and thankfully it only lasted a couple of seconds. I, pro I probably wasn't even a full minute because if it was any longer, I, at one point when I was screaming, he said, it's almost over, just give me a couple more seconds. I almost, if he didn't say that, I would have told him to stop. It was that bad. It was so painful. And and I am actually prescribed um, painkillers for my endometriosis. And I took I took one before I went into the office. He told me to put, take ibuprofen. But I was so worried about it hurting and him opening my cervix like, like it did with the SHG that, um, that I took one of my pain pills. So I thought I would be okay. But I guess I didn't. It wasn't really kicked in by the time, uh, by the time of the procedure, and I told my mom, I said, it, it hasn't kicked in yet, and I'm scared. And she's like, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. It was not okay. No, it was not. It was really bad. Um, so, I don't know if I'm just a big old baby, but it was, it was pretty terrible. But it, like I said, it was over within just a couple of seconds. I mean, maybe if it lasted a full minute, I'd be surprised. Um, but he said he got in there really good. <laughs> he did. I could feel it. I could feel it. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, the 
uh, biopsy that's supposed to help me 20% um, on the implantation. I and m my mom was really upset about how bad it hurt, and I told her that you know I go through these things, and I just have to keep telling myself if it works, it was worth it. Um, and if it does work, it would be worth it. It's just right now I'm I am cramping a lot. It's um. It is almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I have this done at 1.30, so I'm still, I'm still cramping pretty bad, um, and there was just a tiny bit of um, spotting. I'm not supposed to bleed. I am supposed to spot just because of where they went in, and they did the scraping, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Today is Thursday, and next not this Monday coming up, but the next Monday, I go in for my first baseline appointment. So, I'm super excited to get off my birth control next week. It'll be a big reliever, so <laughs> I can stop that at least. Um, but yeah, it's not, this procedure is definitely not for the faint hearted, I guess. It was pretty bad. Uh, but, like I said, if it works, it's worth it. So, I just, um, I told everybody I'd do a video, so I thought I would come on here and do a video and let you know how it went. I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully it helps because, like I said before, this is our last chance. So, I will come on here and let you guys know how everything goes with the, um, with the uh, baseline appointment and what he's going to do with my medications. I still have to order the rest of my medication. Um, I can pretty much get everything else. It's just the, um, it's the Gana Relics that I have to buy. I have to buy four of them, and they're like $100 each, so if anybody has any extra, shoot them my way, please, because <laughs> they are pretty expensive, so anyways, um, again, I did just make a, a Facebook page, and I will put the link below, but it is um, the same as the same as my username on here. It's XA Project TTC. So if you want to get on there and add me as a friend, I I update that every day. So it's just easier to get on there. If you guys have any questions for me, I'd be glad to answer them. And um, any prayers are greatly appreciated. Thanks, ladies. Baby dust, everybody.